Shibby, Shibby, what's happening now? Um, well, there seems to be a lot of action in Gateshead, but uh, no, no final product just yet. <laughs> it's a bit early. Tell, tell us about this evening's entertainment, please. Uh, we've got um, Gateshead's favourite. Uh, it's a bit of a jazzer, eh? Well, de 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 it only depends. I think uh, Thursday night it might be jazz night with them. Tonight. Right, right. Um, so that's doing, they're doing 20 minutes each, so. So it's Nev, Nev Clay. Nev Clay and Miserable Les. Miserable Les, which yeah. is the best name ever. And uh, old pals of yours? Welcome, friends of mine. Uh, and we're in Gateshead, and this is the microbus. This is a song about people who wear lanyards for work. Is there anyone here who actually still goes to work? No. What's a so uh, this is about lanyards, and then I'm thinking about like uh, lanyards, no, no, no. and then I was uh, and I'm thinking about jobs for years, uh, which was like, you know, they used to work in front of a prison, high security prison, you know, so um, a lanyard had a very different meaning in the high security prison as well, so, you know, so, you would know. So it's about a last year who works at uh, Gateshead Job Centre. Is, is there a job centre at Gateshead? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. A lanyard. It's about a last year who works at Gateshead Job Centre. Lanyard, lanyard. Lanyard, she wears a lanyard Walking round the shops near where I live She works at the job centre She's on a dinner break with a shopping list In the prison where I worked we couldn't wear them. Too much of a hostage taking risk But she's at peace with a little lanyard Looking like an X-Factor finalist Lanyard, wear a lanyard It's a symbol of authority In the town of Gateshead In a hospital where I worked we couldn't wear them too much of a strangulation risk But she's at peace with a little lanyard Looking like a prize winning pugilist Looking like an Olympic medalist Lanyard That was a hard one to marry. 
This sounds about, well, I've only wrote this sound yeah. last week, but it's so. Uh, I, I, I might talk about this more uh, in the, the, the second half or third half. But I'm quite keen on um, reusing like old melodies and old sort of chord patterns and things. So this started off as a really sad little song about, about a girl who goes to the um, you know station east just to have open mic nights and things. So we don't know anything about it. Do you know? Right. Oh. 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 No. Yeah. Anyway, so it's about the last year goes to open mic nights, right, and she plays guitar. And, and she's got all these dreams that one day someone from Metro Radio will hear her, <laughs> like the Flash and Blade, and maybe play our song, you know, on night hours or something. <laughs> So uh, I'm not just showing how it works, right? So, but it's lucky chords. So the the song used to go, um, girl with guitar, open mic night at the folk bar with the strummers. The strummers are people who strum. Yeah. One day she hopes a DJ will give her a play her songs on local radio. And then I thought, well, it's a bit tedious that, so I thought I'm going to write. Uh, it's not too loud, is it? No. Right. I thought, well, I want to change the words, so I was thinking about. I've got moths in the flat, right? And I don't know what to do about them. So, uh, <laughs> And the, Call an exterminator! Balls! Balls! Balls, that's what I mean, I need some balls. Have you got any scars? So I thought, I want to write a song, and I, and I thought, right, I'm going to call it, um, There's a Hole in My Heart and Moths in the Wardrobe. Uh, <laughs> there's a hole in my heart and moths in the wardrobe. That's better than the girl with the guitar, isn't it? That's all you left. When you slam the front door <laughs> All through the night Something is chewing the soul The scar My fragile piece of mind the stars that we wished on when we were together now look like homes in a black sweater. What's going on? Yes, it's a great The scarf that you bought me in inclement weather resembles the same where flying creatures live. Oh, that's like poetry. <laughs> It gets better. So what I'm doing in the next bit, right, the middle eight, so I'm moving from moths to butterflies, right? Uh, and then, so that's the, the thing. I'll tell you, right, because it's, it's worth you. The butterflies I felt when we first met. That's amazing. So I'm going from moths to butterflies, right? And then in the second line, what happens is a sort of reverse metamorphosis. So the butterflies are turning back into caterpillars, right? So here it goes. <laughs> Butterflies are felt when we first met. They've become caterpillars of regret. And they're hungry, so very hungry. Hold in my heart and moths in the soap drawer. What did I find? Those cashmere socks for. All you get in the field, that's all that they're good for. Let's make some words. Hang it, you know, here it is, I've got it, I've got it. All you in the field, that's all that they're good for, just like the home that you can find one day. <coughs> Moths in my heart and holes in the wardrobe. That's all you plant when you walk out the door. 
And then there's a change of time because it actually gets serious here. There's a sort of gut wrenching, you know, it's this is the punch of the solar plexus right then. There's an ocean of sadness under the street. I can hear its waves breaking, steady and sweet. The subliminal presence, like a gentle heartbeat. There's an ocean of sadness under our feet. And we have <laughs> Les Miserable, Miserable Les more like coming up in a bit. We'll come back to you. Stay tuned, coming back. <laughs> 